today we talk about logic so um when you try to when you are in in your system design interview and you try to design a distributed system you will find the term logging is um it will be you will come up across the term logging a lot and uh, logging in distributed system refers to the practice of recording events activities and information related to the operation of performance of a distributed software application these logs are typically stored <coughs> sorry i'm still ill so these logs are typically stored in centralized location and serve several important purposes so we say that logging is just a process of recording what's going on in the system so let's assume that we have a distributed system and we have we connect it with the logging what we get from that what it what are the benefits from that so the benefits actually they are a lot so let's just try to talk about some of them the first thing that we could talk about is that troubleshooting and debugging so <coughs> so logging provides a valuable source of information for diagnosing, uh, diagnosing, uh, diagnosing and resolving issues like when something goes wrong developers and system administrators can review log files uh, to pinpoint the root cause of problems the other thing that the logging is great in is performance monitoring oh no So logs can contain performance related metrics allowing you to track the system's behavior over time. By analyzing these metrics, you can identify performance bottlenecks and optimize resources utilization. Also, it's great when it comes to security. Logs help in monitoring secur uh, security related events. They can record log uh, uh, login attempts access to sensitive data and other potential suspicious activities analyzing security logs can aid in detecting and responding to security breaches it's a great also when it comes to added trails so in complaints with regulator, uh, uh, regulatory requirements and best practice distributed systems often need to maintain added trails logs serve as a record of who did what wh and when which is essential for uh, accountability and complaints um also it's great when it comes to change management like keeping Oh, no. So basically, uh, keeping a log configuration changes uh, and software updates helps track system modifications. This is valuable for maintaining systems integrity and ensuring that changes are uh, correctly applied. It's a great also in alerting and monitoring. So logs can trigger automated alerts when uh, predefined conditions or error patterns are detected these uh, proactive, uh, proactive uh, monitoring help identify and help identify and uh, address issues before they impact users so okay we know why monitoring it's a great to use and right now we know a lot of things reasons to why we're using monitor but when to use monitor so uh, sorry logging when to use logging so logging should be used in various scenarios in distributed systems the first thing that comes to my mind will be in the development and testing so during software development and testing phases developers use logging to trace code extension capture error details and uh, validate system behavior also we use logging in deployment and operations so So um, in production environments, logging is essential for monitoring, diagnosing, diagnosing issues and maintaining systems health. It's also you use it when you want to security monitoring. So, um, oh, no. 
So um, to ensure security logs should uh, to, to ensure security logs should record authentication attempts, access control events, and any suspicious activities that may indicate a security breach. A breach. So um, you can use it for um, incident response, like low logs are uh, critical for incident response and recovery efforts. You can use it when you when you have business intelligence. So some logs may contain valuable business insights, such as user behavior, transaction histories, uh, or custom or customer interactions. Um, and much more. There's a lot of things that we use when you you try you use when you ha when you work with uh, with monitoring. Uh, we want to look about some best practices. Lastly, we want to look about some best practices when it comes to monitoring. So, um, in terms of the best practices, let's add this one here, and I will make it uh, blue. Uh, so, in terms of the best practices, we should use a st structured log format that includes essential. We should use a structured log format that includes essential uh, information such as timestamps, logs, log levels, um, error codes, and uh, and uh, context specified data. Also, it's a great when it comes to uh, best practices is that logs um, logs error. What is this? Why is that like that? Oh, huh. sorry, sorry. So, oh, I, I don't know why why it's like that, but it is how it is. So, um, logs, error, and uh, exceptions with clear and uh, actionable messages to aid troubleshooting. Also, um, you should document logging practice uh, practices and standards with your organization to ensure consistency. You should implement log rotation and uh, ar uh, archiving to manage log file size and prevent storage issues. Also, you should consider centralized logging solutions that uh, uh, consolidate logs from multiple sources for easier analysis. Also, you should secure log files to prevent unauthorized access to or, or, or tampering. Uh, you should balance log uh, uh, verbosity, avoid uh, excessive logging, which can generate large volumes of data, but ensure that crit critical events are adaptively logged. So, um, in conclusion, logging is a fundamental tool for monitoring, maintaining, and securing distributed systems. It helps you gain insights in systems behavior, diagno uh, diagnose problems, and response to operational and securing security challenges effectively. So that's it for today's video, and I hope you like my content. If you like my content, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss a video, and see you in future problem.